Hi there, and let's get to it. Today we're looking at three methods of syncing audio in DaVinci Resolve. From the most automated to the least, we can synchronize using time codes, using waveforms, or manually. So you can synchronize using time codes when the audio engineer and the camera department have synced their devices and the files that they've captured already have matching time codes. You'll first have to create your project and import all your rushes into the media pool. Now right now all my footage is inside of the master bin. I'm going to organize it into its respective roles. And I could choose to import this audio into the same bin. But if you'd like to keep things tidy, you can make another bin to organize the audio files into, but it has to be inside of the same bin as the video. Then right-click on the bin that contains both your video and audio files and choose one of the following two options, auto sync audio based on time code or auto sync audio based on time code and append tracks. So in the first instance, your in-camera audio tracks will be completely wiped and replaced by the external audio source. Whereas if you choose to append the tracks, then your in-camera audio will be kept and the external audio tracks added as additional channels. I guess this decision comes down to workflows that you're comfortable with and whether your camera audio is worth hanging on to. Now the second method is using matching waveforms. This is probably the most popular because you don't have to have matching time codes in your video and audio, and it's also the fastest way to create a sync. So once again, we begin by creating a new project and importing the video and audio assets. Right click and select between the next two available options in the menu. So you can auto sync the audio based on the waveforms that are present in both the audio and video clips, or just like last time, you can choose to append the external audio tracks onto the video tracks, keeping the original in-camera audio. Once I select that, I'll have to sit back and wait for the analysis to occur. This method isn't going to work 100% of the time on every clip, so what you might need to do is go back and select some individual clips and audio files and try to synchronize them again. If that doesn't work, then you'll have to move to the third method, which is manual syncing. Now I'm going to bring up a project in which there was no in-camera sound recorded. That means that the only way that we can synchronize these shots is using visual cues. Now in this case, it's the clapperboard. In order to synchronize manually, we once again have to import our video files first. I'm also going to create a bin and import the audio files separately just to keep things tidy. All right, so that's slate one, take one, scene two. I'm going to hide my clone tool to make some room. In fact, I'll even hide my media storage and open up my audio panel. I'll then scroll down in time until I find the first point of contact in the clapperboard. I'm then going to switch my audio panel from meters to waveform. I'll go into the audio bin and open the first audio file, which I happen to know was captured at the same time as this video clip. At the top of the waveform, I'm going to see a representation of the entire file laid out from left to right. Underneath that, I'm going to see a close-up of this waveform that's represented by the box at the top. I'm going to look out for this spike in audio that represents the clapperboard. So I'm just going to find it here in the waveform and scroll across to make sure it's right underneath this playhead line. Once I've found the two sync points, one for the audio and one for the video, I'm going to click on this link. From now on, when I play this video, the accommodating audio file will play along with it. So let's check out to see if this worked. Action. Sorry. Sorry, I'm late. I have to pop my oyster. Um, I'm Sophie. Blumenthal says the oysters are knockout. Excellent. I'm now ready to start editing or start exporting the video clips as offline dailies. Thank you very much, and until next time.